Good afternoon, good afternoon, Black and Mary with Kids. I am so excited to be with you all tonight on this amazing Takeover Tuesday. Um, so thank you guys for having me. I'm going to wait for a couple of you guys to join in and to join me for this conversation tonight. This is really for a lot of people. I know that we have a lot of uplifting um, topics, but I really felt compelled to talk about feeling like the weak link in your relationship. So if you're just not joining me, you're coming in, comment below your city and state where you're from, say hello. I could use a lot of energy right now. Normally when I come on here, I have energy. So comment below, tell me your name, your city, so your state, where you're from. I want to be able to uh, get to know who I'm talking to tonight. All right. And so, um, yeah, so today I'm going to give you guys some insight about how to stop feeling like the weak link in your relationship. And I don't know if you guys have ever felt weak in your relationship, but I really want you guys to get some empowerment tonight. So if you're just now joining me, comment below so I can see who you are. Um, and I'm going to introduce myself as I wait for a couple people to chime in here as well. So let me see. Hi, Charlique from Virginia. How are you? Um, thank you for joining in here. Hi, John. How are you from Delaware? Nice to see you as well. Um, so I'm so glad that you guys are in here. And this conversation is going to be for women and men because I feel like in relationships sometimes either party can feel like the weak relationship, all right, for, or feel weak, the weak link in the relationship. So I'm going to give you guys some insight um, on this tonight and what you can really do um, to kind of help you in if you feel like this because some people... You know, we like to pretend that our relationships are always, you know, we're the two strongest individuals in a relationship, and that's not always the case. Um, hi, Sharice. How are you from New York City? So if you're just now joining in, my name is Arielle. I want to thank Lamar and Ronnie for having me on here tonight. I am the co-owner of a company called Dunamis Woman Enterprise. Dunamis, it's a Greek term that literally means power, but at our company, we guide women of faith through spiritual mentorship, prayer, coaching, so they can experience healing within their soul and transform their life and relationships. And this is kind of why I'm bringing you all this topic tonight because a lot of women sometimes or men do feel like they're the weak link in their relationship and we like to put on this mask to think that we're always strong to think that we always have it all together but reality is that we face uh, dealing with ourselves in relationships and we don't like to always admit that we're weak but what happens is, is that our emotions start making us feel weak. We start getting things that are going on in our mental mind that make us feel like that we're not bringing enough to the table, all right? And no relationship, whether you're married, whether you're in a serious dating relationship, should you ever feel like you are the weak link. Now, oftentimes, um, or sometimes, how are you from uh, Dallas? When you feel weak within your relationship, it's either two things. Either the person that you're with is making you feel as if you are weak, based upon their, their language, based upon the words that they're saying, based upon their demeanor, um, based upon certain things that are going on with them, and they're making you feel as if you're the weak link, or you have allowed yourself to feel like you are the weak link, okay? So I am going to base some of this discussion tonight on a movie that I recently saw, which I know most of y'all have seen this movie, okay? But before I tell you all the movie, I want you to share this on your page for anyone else that you want to tune in to this message who may need it, all right? So comment below if you have saw this movie why Did I Get Married by Tyler Perry. I know y'all have seen this movie, all right? So comment below if you have seen this film, all right? Because I'm going to base part of my message off of a character within this film, all right? So I want you all to let me know down below if you have saw this film before because it's so important that I'm going to base it off of this tonight just to give you a little bit of understanding if you have seen this uh, movie. So... I don't know if you guys have seen this film, but in the film, you had the woman um, who was playing the character, uh, Jill Scott. I can't remember what her name was in, in, in her character was, but Jill Scott was the character in this movie, right? And if you remember when they went away for this retreat, right, or for their, their normal outing, uh, she was going through a lot of issues in her marriage. She was feeling like the weak link. Now, men, if you're watching this, still stay tuned because... There's some some things I'm going to show you all, right, um, for men and women. So if someone remember her name, comment below uh, if you know her name from the movie, right? But what happened is when they went to this retreat, it was married people who gathered together for this retreat. They were all friends, right? And she had felt um, really weak, confident. She wasn't confident in who she was. She wasn't confident in her body image. She was trying to do everything right to keep her marriage, all right? Whether you saw this movie or not, you can follow along and give you a little background, okay? 
But the man that she was date, the man that she was married to, always made her feel as if she was the weak link in the relationship. That she couldn't bring anything to the table. Yes, this is why did I get married, right? And so he was a lack of terms. He was a butthole, right? And he always made her feel like there was something wrong with her. So that gives that first point that sometimes you could be in a relationship where someone is just really using you as a punching bag. They're using you uh, to to take out all of their frustrations, to take out their their abuse, their verbal abuse, and they're making you feel as if you're weak constantly over and over again. All right, Sheila. Thank you, La Maria. Thank you for giving me that, Sheila. All right. So he made her feel like the weak link. But then there was a part of Sheila as well based upon herself that she was going through. And this is important for me to give you this background, right? Something about herself, though, that didn't make her feel strong. She lacked confidence in who she was. She didn't like her body image. She talked very soft, right? A soft tone. She wasn't really confident in everything that she did. So there was parts of her as a woman that made her feel weak. Now, both of them were weak in the relationship, all right? Just because one dominated and made her the punching bag as far as her husband, thank you for tuning in, he also was weak too, right? There was no real strength about him because he was really masking his strength in a, in a horrible way. But really, he was a weak man, right? Because to use a woman as a punching bag, there's no strength in that. So, um, yeah, but this this is going to make sense, okay, as I'm talking about this for the Tyler Perry movie. So, both of them had weaknesses. And the relationship couldn't be strong because both of them were channeling their weakness in two different ways, Okay. But we're going to use Sheila as the hero in this story, that I'm going to break you down of how you can stop feeling weak within your relationship, okay? So if you haven't shared this, I want you to share this now. If you don't have a pen and paper or get out your phone, I want you to take some notes really quickly because I'm about to lay this down for you all. So share this post, and if you're just now chiming in, I'm talking about how to stop feeling like the weak link in your relationship, okay? My name is Arielle Fuller. I thank Lamar and Ronnie for having me on here uh, with our company, Dunamis Woman Enterprise, as well, okay? So are you all ready? If you're ready for this, these tips I'm about to give you, I want you to comment below, I'm ready. Let me start seeing these comments, okay? Because I want to make sure that you guys are ready to receive this and anyone can take from this these tips that I'm about to give you, whether you're a man or a woman, okay? So let me see you guys comment. I'm ready, I'm ready. You guys got the movie. I gave you a little bit of background, and we are about to get started, okay? So here's the first thing. If you got a pen and paper or you have your phone out, and I know some of you guys are watching on your phone, the first thing that she had to do, okay? The first thing that she had to do is, I'm going to break down the word weak, okay? The W. She had to start feeling worthy of herself. Okay, there was something that she had to do. She had to start feeling worthy because really she had no self-worth. She had both of them had no self-worth with who they were as individuals. So the worthiness had to start getting built up in her. So whether you are a man or a woman and you feel weak in your relationship, please know that there is some worth in you and you are feeling weak because that worth is starting to be diminished on the inside of you. That worth needs to be is starting to get lowered so that you can start feeling weak. But truly, you are the one that has that substance. You are the one that really carries the power and the worth within that relationship. So you're feeling weak so that you don't start adding value to the relationship that you really need to add because the enemy wants you to start feeling weak okay so you got to know that you got to start shifting your mind and start understanding the worth and the value that you bring this to that relationship see Sheila's husband in this movie why did I get married wasn't bringing worth to the relationship but everything that she had the love that she wanted to give him the 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 advice that she wanted to give him the the wisdom that she had to give him was the worth And he didn't see that, right? He didn't see that worth that was deep down on the inside of her. So if you're feeling weak in your relationship, know that you're feeling weak because you have some worth that you have to give. You have worth that you have to give to your relationship. You have self-worth that you need to give to yourself. So you have to start shifting your mind to know that there is worth down on the inside of you. Now, you may not have tapped into it. You may have believed it at some point. You may have let it diminish. But the truth of the matter is that worth is still there. So if you are with me on this point, I want you to come below. I am worthy whether you feel weak or not I want you to drop that comment I am worthy because every time you feel weak in your relationship that means that something around you is trying to take away your worth and we will never be um, effective in anything that we do if we don't feel worthy if we don't feel that our words are worthy if we don't feel that our knowledge is worthy if we don't feel that our our what we're bringing men money or whatever it is to the table we 
women try to take away your worth. Men try to take away women's worth. Women, we take away our own worth, right? Our own thoughts take away our worth. But truth of the matter is that you are worthy, okay? So I see the comments. Hey, Danielle, thank you for coming below. Hey, Debbie, I am worthy. So she had to be able to see this within herself. And even though her friends were telling her all this stuff, she had to get to a point where she saw the worth within herself. So she had to get to a breaking point all the way down to the bottom so that she can get built back up to the worth that she really deserved, all right, and the worth that she could believe. So I don't want you guys to go that far in a deep breaking point. However, some of you all may watching this may be already at your breakest lowest point, and you're like, I have no, I can't get any more broken. I just got to get built up because really I'm just completely torn up at this standpoint. People have broken you. You have broken you. Relationships have broken you. Circumstances have broken you, but you are at your bottom. And let me tell you right now, you can't go any more further. Only thing that you can go is up from this standpoint. And so with Sheila in this movie, movie, she got to that point where she said, I have nothing left. She had no money left. She had no confidence left. She had no more love to give. She had no more words of wisdom to give. She was fed up, okay? And some of y'all watching this probably like, I am fed up of feeling like the weak person in my relationship. So she had to realize she was worthy, okay? But what happened next, which is your E, all right? So that W was worthy, your E, is that... She was enlightened to the truth, just like you guys are getting enlightened to the truth right now. Admit right now that you are, you may feel like the weak person in your relationship. I'm talking about the movie, Why Did I Get Married? Tyler Perry. This is, I'm using this as my example for anyone who has watched it or who hasn't watched it, but you can follow along. All right, but after she felt, um, she, after she felt her sense of uh, worth was low, she had to do the E, which was she had to get elevated, Okay. Elevated because see when you are it at your bottom something has to build you back up and I'm not talking about empowering because we could, this message right now is empowering okay but there's a certain difference between someone elevating you to another level see I can empower you but then you can leave and you can go right back and you can start feeling worthy but elevation means that you are going to a new height you are going to a new level and you're not going back down you can't go back down those stairs but you are climbing up to get to where you necessarily need to be so she had to start feeling elevated in, in who she was as a woman or as a man if you are watching this see her friends were trying to give her empowering they were trying to talk to her they were trying to say Sheila you're beautiful Sheila you know he's cheating on you but she had to make a decision to say that she had to get elevated where she was and oftentimes that elevation meant that she got to take her power back okay and so she had to take her power back and so comment below elevation so when everyone left in this film when she felt like she was alone she stayed right in the midst of where she was. She stayed in the midst of that snowstorm. She stayed in the midst of that, that top hill. And she said, I'm going to start doing things for me to start elevating my life to where I need to be. Now, she didn't know what that was going to look like. But she said, I, I can't go back. All right, and this is a this is the thing for you all. If you're feeling like the weak uh, person in the relationship, you can't go back to how you were feeling. So you got to take whatever state that you're in, and you got to say, I'm gonna accept whatever's gonna come my way to elevate me to another level. And she had no clue what that looked like, but she was open. Her heart was open. Her mind was open, and she had to go through her breaking process only to get to that elevation. All right. So comment below, elevation. All right. I need to start seeing these comments, elevation. Because I'm about to tell you how you're going to get elevated, all right? Empowering is great. Her girls were trying to, you know, tell her she was amazing. They were trying to check on her. They were trying to give her that empowerment. But she needed an elevation peak that was going to take place. And I'm about to tell you how to get that elevation, all right? So that W was worthy. That E was elevation. But this A, what she had to do as a woman is she had to take authority over her life. Men and women, whether you are watching this or uh, whether you're a man or woman watching this, you have an authority, you have a place, you have a purpose that you have to fulfill and her man couldn't give her that, her friends couldn't give her that, but she had to start seeing her authority and what she carried within her life. And as she continued to start developing herself, working out, losing weight, she started getting confidence and authority of where she stands. And you all have to know that you carry as a woman and as a man, not as a wife, not as a girlfriend, not as a boyfriend, not as a husband, not as a father, not as a mother. As a woman and as a man, you carry a certain level of authority within your life. 
And when you start walking in that authority, then nothing will make you feel like you are weak because you carry the crown of authority over your life. And when you have authority within your relationship, when you have authority within who you are, now authority doesn't mean that you have, you're demanding. Authority means is that your presence is known to everyone that is attached to you, everyone that is connected to you, and that when you speak, when you do things, when you move, that you are doing it so precisely that in a good way that everything else around you is going to align. Now, men, you carry a certain level of authority, and women, you carry a certain level of authority. But when you start feeling weak in your relationship, that means that either you or that person that is making you feel weak is trying to take away your power and your authority. And you guys are going to have to learn how to get this authority, all right? So comment below authority. If you guys have this, comment below authority. I want to see it, all right? So how do you get this authority? How do you get this elevation? How do you get this mind shift that Sheila was able to get, right, when she stayed isolated? She had to seek for knowledge. And not knowledge of books, not knowledge of Googling, how do I start feeling weak in my relationship? How do I get my husband back from cheating on me? How do I stop feeling betrayed because you know he cheated on her in the relationship and she felt less than as a woman. She didn't go and compare herself to the other woman in her isolation time. She said, how can I get the wisdom to get to where I need to be? So she had to get knowledge. But let me tell you who she had to get knowledge about. She had to get knowledge about who she was in her identity. Because when you feel weak in your relationship, that means that someone is trying to take away your identity. So the knowledge that she had to receive was, who was I created to be? Who was I created to walk in my authority? Whether this man loves me or not, who was I? Because the next relationship that she got in, and I'm not saying you guys are getting into a new relationship. I want you to stay in your marriage if you're in it, and it's and it's not abusive. I want you to still stay in it, and I want you to fight. But she had to get knowledge of who she was as a woman and as a man because she was feeling weak because she had no sense of identity. And I want you all tonight, I want you, if you're feeling weak, to know that you are worthy, that there is something that's going to shift in your life that's going to elevate you to another level so that you can start walking in your authority regardless of whatever came your way so that you can get wisdom and knowledge about who you are as an individual and let me tell you something people could take your money people could take your cars people could take your clothes people could cheat on you they could take everything away from you but one thing they cannot take away from you is your mind and your knowledge and your wisdom and your authority that's on the inside of you and your worth that is one thing that they cannot take away from you and so when you get your self-knowledge when you get this wisdom when you get an understanding of who you are then everything else around you you will start seeing was for your benefit see she thought that there was pain in that betrayal but truth of the matter is the betrayal and the cheating that her man did on her that made her feel like the weak link gave her the authority and the knowledge of who she was that she would have never seen if she stayed in that relationship now that relationship was abusive so I'm not saying that that she needed to to be able to stay in that relationship but wherever you are in this standpoint you had to go through this weak process to make you feel weak so that you can get reshaped and you can get renewed and you can get rebuilt up to being the woman or the man that you were created to be. So I don't care if you felt weak when you were a child. I don't care if your parents made you feel weak. I don't care if the person in the relationship made you feel weak. I don't care if you made yourself feel weak. You had to go through the weakening so that you can feel worthy to get strengthened back up. I hope this is making sense for anybody that is watching this right now. So whoever is saying things to you right now, whether it's you saying things to you right now, here's what I want you to do. We at Doing Miss Women are having a workshop. We have a couple workshops coming up, but one of them is called How to Walk in Your Authority. How to Walk in Your Spiritual Authority Effectively. And I want you all to be able to go and get registered for this workshop because it is so important for you to know how to walk in your authority. And everything that you are doing in life, you have authority. And this workshop that we're doing for you all is only, all right, we know we had Black Friday, we know we had Cyber Monday, all right? Only a $10 investment for you to get on this workshop, to get coached, to get guidance. My mom is going to teach you how to walk in your authority as an individual for this workshop because I'm telling you, you feel weak because someone's trying to take away your authority. All right, and I want you to get registered for this workshop. Now, normally our workshops are $30, but tonight it's $10 for you to get registered. And that link is bit.ly backslash dwworkshops. And if you thought this was good, let me tell you, 
this workshop is going to be amazing within your life all right and so I want you to go to that workshop but when you go to that link you're also going to see another workshop if you want to register for it which is how to trust after being betrayed now if you were touched with this story of Sheila from why did I get married right and you've experienced some betrayal in your life that made you feel weak then you can register for that workshop which is just ten dollars all right so we got a lot that's on there for you but the authority is the key thing but you can also go there and get the ten dollar workshop for the betrayal now if you say hey, I want to also pray in my authority, then you can go register for that too. So really, we have workshops for $30, but these workshops are $10 each, so you can get all three for $30 if you really want to. And if you're like me and you save, you better take advantage of the short little good deal, okay? But you can go and get registered, and I want you someone to write that link down below for me because I'm on here and I'm talking with you all, bit.ly backslash DW workshops. But I want you guys to say again, right here in your comments, I want you to put week. Okay, and I want you to spell this out. I want you to put that you are worthy, that you will be elevated, that you have authority, and that you are going to receive knowledge. All right, for anyone watching this as a replay later on, I want you to put there. Thank you, Danielle, for putting the link. Thank you, Michelle, for putting the link. But I want you all to know that you are worthy. That when you feel weak, it's because you got to work down on the inside of you. And something has to take place in your life to elevate you to another level so you can start walking effectively in your authority. And the knowledge that you're going to receive about yourself, no one can ever take away. And you will start shifting things in your life and your relationships around you because of your authority, because of your wisdom, because you are elevated to another level and you're not coming back down. So if you feel like you're broken, I'm going to say it last time again, if you feel like you are at your last of your breaking, you can only be built up from this standpoint you can only get broken so far all right so i love you all so very much when so you feel weak you need to be reminded of what i said all right thank you so much danielle for watching thank you renee for watching i want you all to get registered for that workshop tonight is the last night that you're going to get it for ten dollars if you're watching the replay i may put it there thank you sonia as well or sonia i hope i'm saying it right for writing um, that down, all right? So get registered for that workshop, well, How to Walk in Your Spiritual Authority. It's only $10. If you want to get the other two that are there for praying, get results, and betrayal, definitely get access. They're $10, too, so you can get all three of them for $30. But go there and get the information. And I love you all. I'm glad you all were able to join me. And before I leave, I want to thank Lamar and Ronnie for having me on here. I want you to share this on your page, and I want you to know that you are powerful, and you are loved, and I love you so very much. Thank you, Debbie, so much. Thank you, Joy. George, thank you guys so much for being on here with me tonight, and I will see you all later. Have a good night. Love you guys, and see you next week, and my mom will be on tomorrow.